forget to write. A novel set in 1960 with elements of growth and change. A young woman is sent by her parents to spend a summer with her great aunt. It is funny, it is touching, and somehow this summer read keeps you guessing until the final few pages. Brittany Peacock is with the Davenport Public Library and joins me now. Brittany, welcome back. Thanks for having me. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, so just talk, I, I, I obviously just touched on it. Talk a little bit more um, about the plot. It really kind of centers around one main character, yes. maybe two. Yes. Yeah. So Marion is um, caught with the rabbi's son in a very compromising situation. Mm -hmm. And um, her parents have either told her she has to marry him or she needs to spend the summer with her great aunt, who is a matchmaker. Yes. And so that she gets sent with, uh, get sent to go live with her aunt, and um, she's not at all what she had expected. No, if, yeah, I just loved it. It's if you like a quirky um, senior citizen character, I. Which, who doesn't? I always, I always love that. Yeah, Don't Forget to Write has to be one of my favorite books that we have ever read yeah. in our two years, yeah. uh, year and a half uh, yeah. since doing QCL Book Club. I was very surprised at how much I liked it. Yes. I couldn't put it down or I listened to it as well on Audible. Yeah. So like from my 10 minute drive to and from work, I would just sit in the car for like an extra 10 yes. minutes, like wanting, wanting more of this book. And uh, we're not gonna give away the ending mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. but the ending mm -hmm. is really incredible. It's so good. It is such a good ending. Wraps it up with a nice little bow. It really, really does. Okay, so we loved that one. If you haven't read it, didn't read it with us, we, of yes. course, encourage you to do so. Uh, so September Book Choices, Hispanic Heritage Month. Yes. So Big Chicas Don't Cry by Annette Chavez Macias. A World Beach Day. So Every Time I Go on Vacation, Someone Dies. That's this one here yes. by Catherine Mack. Uh, September 6th coming up is Read a Book Day. How perfect. Yes. So The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. And September 13th is... Is Friday the 13th and we've got White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. Lots of great choices there. Of course, always a theme with Brittany. Yes. She works very hard to pick these books. So, <laughs> drum roll. It's a perfect table for it. Yes, it is. We went with White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. Yes. So you have, uh, you're pretty well into the book yes. already. Okay, yes. so describe it for us. I'm only about a chapter in so far. Yes, so um, it is a spooky tale. So super perfect as we enter into our spooky season. Yes. Um, it's not like anything we've ever read before, which I'm very excited about. So it is a young adult um, work and it is about a um, young woman. Um, she's a teenager, her and her family move to a Midwestern town. Her right. mom gets a, um, a wonderful opportunity and Things and they're a, are, they're like a blended family they too. Are, they correct? are a blended okay. family, yeah. So there's lots of different themes. A lot of different elements. Yeah. Um, yeah, this new town is not not that darn they, Midwest. Not what they were expecting. Always, always freaking um, people out. I know, <laughs> I know. So um, this is a little spooky. So um, just giving you a heads up there, but. It's way out of my comfort zone, and I'm loving every second. Okay, of it. good. Like, it's really. It's I really haven't good. gotten any spooky stuff yet, so yeah. they're they're just they're in the process of moving. They're just getting into town. Yeah. Um, I like that we're reading, uh, you know, a young adult yes, novel. It's our first young adult. It's our first one, yeah. and I think that's just only fair to do. Like we I review agree. these books, and I, you know, um, and I like some young adult novels as well. I mean, yes. The Hunger Games could be considered oh, a young adult. It is. Adult. Yep. That's one of my favorite books it's ever. So good. So yes. yes, we hope folks read along with us. Yes. Um, White Smoke for the month of September. Uh, and some other things that we want to talk about today. Yes. It is Library Card Sign Up Month. Yes! Look so at that. Exciting. So exciting. So a uh, whole month long, um, come to the library. If you don't have a library card, we want to uh, hook you up. So a lot of added incentives to get your library card this month. Um, you get some prizes, um, chances to win a grand prize. And then if you already are a card holder, which we hope you are, um, we have these wonderful passports and you can oh. take them to local businesses and get discounts. That's Which awesome. Amazing. Okay, so, so I'm yeah. a library card holder. My daughter is a library ca card holder. There is something really special about visiting the library. Yes. And so if you are considering it or you haven't been to a library in a really long time, first of all, they've changed. They are they are very, you know, <laughs> modernized in a lot of ways. There's <laughs> just a whole host of activities that you can do just by having a library yeah. card, but there is something really special about just yes. having that physical book. Oh my goodness. You know, especially if you're going to read with us for book club. Yes. 
And you get a nice little receipt and it tells you how much money you've saved. We love that. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. We love a deal. Yes. Okay, uh, Teen Anime Day. Yes. So that's coming up uh, mm -hmm. soon, September 14th. Yes. Uh, the day after Friday the 13th. Yes. So tell us uh, all about this. Who's this for? Yes, so this is for teens. Um, we have done this partnership for quite a few years now. Um, this is at the Figgy. And it's oh, for oh. young people that are really interested in manga, anime. They're going to have cosplay, all kinds of different activities. Um, come on down. It is registration required. Um, you can get on through our website. Yeah, registration required because this is a really popular yes. event. And I know it kind of uh, several library systems feed into yes. this event. Yep. So mm -hmm. you can also end up meeting a whole bunch yes. of people that are just from in and around the Quad Cities just by attending this event. So that's great. great. Networking. Yeah. Dog Man. Dog Man. Yeah, dog Man Party, yes. uh, Saturday, September 21st. Tell us about Dog Man because Dog Man is super popular. Dog Man is super popular. <laughs> so um, Dave Pilkey, he is the author of Captain Underpants. He has written this series. Oh, um, the kids love it. Oh, they love it. So we're just kind of a big celebration um, for all kids that love this series. Maybe kids that are maybe new to it. We yeah. want to bring them in and have crafts and all kinds of different activities. So that'll just be a really fun activity event. Yeah. Now, speaking of really uh, a lot of fun, uh, you like to talk about some children books yes. here on the show with us uh, and you always have a theme so I, I think we can guess what the theme <laughs> is but uh, you you decided with a bug theme bug theme yes so I always um, in September I always love to read um, butterfly books okay um, I love my monarch butterflies <laughs> so um, but I was I thought I'd kick it up a notch a little bit and do bug books okay. and they're so fun um, the very impatient caterpillar is one of my favorites okay um, it's at the one at the very end that's yeah. one here yeah hilarious it's um, it takes our classic tale and puts a modern spin on it and so fun. And the kiddos are loving it because you read you read some books to the yes. kids. What was that today? Today, yes. So I, I peer reviewed these today with a group <laughs> and they were hooked. Peer reviewed it. by yes. the little kiddos. Yes. She said they were very wiggly and they all yes. sat still for all they the books. Loved it. So that's fabulous. Oh. Well, a reminder if you want to read along with us, be sure to join our group on Goodreads. Just search groups for QCL book club. There's also a link to join our book club right on our website. Head to kwqc.com, click the tab for Quad Cities Live, and you will find it right there on the top. As always, Brittany, thank you so much for all you yes. do uh, for the show, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again next month.